Earlier today, the House passed the large tax cut bill on a party line vote. And if signed by the governor, it would cut income tax rates for all Idahoans. House Republicans praising the bill as being possibly the largest tax cut for Idahoans ever. Democrats, though, recognize there are cuts for the, they are cuts for all Idahoans, but they say the cuts are not quite equal across the board, and this tax bill simply benefits wealthy people. Joe Paris walks us through the bill and gets insight from both sides of the aisle. This isn't the CARES Act. This is your money that you paid in that we're trying to give back in the fairest way possible that we can determine. House Republicans are praising a new Idaho tax cut plan that aims to cut all income tax brackets, setting the top individual and corporate tax bracket to 6.5%. The bill, which passed on a party line vote, is supported by Republicans who say they are looking to give Idahoans their money back while also leveling the playing field with other states. I think that the Idaho income tax uh, rate relative to other states is too high. I think it's important that we get it lower more in line, more competitive with other states. The bill also provides a one-time sales tax income tax rebate, returning $220 million to Idaho taxpayers. A rebate check would be sent to 2020 personal income tax filers, providing a minimum amount of $50 for each taxpayer and dependent, or 9% of income taxes paid in 2019, whichever amount is greater. The bill before us is not what Idahoans are asking for because it doesn't provide much benefit to most Idahoans and certainly not to those who need it. House Democrats say the bill greatly benefits high income earners with much higher tax cuts and rebates for top earners while lower income tax brackets receive far less. Critics of the bill point to a report from the Idaho Center for Fiscal Policy which shows that under their proposal the top 1% of Idaho households making over $482,000 would see a benefit of close to $9,000 while the lowest 20% of Idahoans earning less than $24,000 would see a benefit of about $78. We have years of, of research on deep tax cuts benefiting the wealthy, and, and we see that this does not um, create more jobs or economic growth. House Republicans argue that the cut and rebate simply gives back what Idahoans put in and that some Idahoans have paid more in taxes and deserve more back. And as far as the, the size of the rebate, those who Mr. Speaker, if you and I were to both go and, and, and buy something from the, the local department store and I were to spend $25 and you were to spend $300 and we were to both to demand a refund, I couldn't rightly be irritated that your refund was larger than mine when you had spent more than me in the first place. The Idaho Center for Fiscal Policy reports that the proposal would cost $389 million in its first year and about $169 million in the years after. The continued costs of the bill would be paid for by the Idaho Tax Relief Fund, which takes sales tax from online sales, as well as close to $60 million a year from the state's general fund. Democrats argue that general fund and tax relief money could be better used on other areas like education. If this bill goes through and becomes reality, the money will be gone um, and it will be uh, impossible for us, potentially for many years, if not generations, for us to address the very essential needs that we believe Idahoans really want and value. It's called a tax relief fund for a very good reason. And so we're using it for that appropriate purpose of providing tax relief. The $390 million price tag on this bill could have been used to either eliminate the sales tax on groceries or buy down a considerable, a considerable amount of our property taxes or increase property tax assistance. All right, Joe, a lot of good points made on both sides in that story. They understand, though, there's also some concerns from Democrats that this tax bill could compromise any new stimulus money coming in to Idaho from the federal government. What is that concern? Well, Brian, there's some tentative uh, guidance from the federal government after the stimulus package was signed by President Biden last week that states were not to use that money for tax cuts for citizens. Now, there is some type of a conversation going on uh, at the White House right now about providing some further guidance to states like Idaho and legislatures across the U.S. that are looking at moves like this. It's being argued by the Democrats that there should be a wait and see approach to make sure that Idaho wouldn't accidentally jeopardize millions of dollars of relief money and accidentally disqualify, them, uh, disqualify themselves from receiving money by passing this bill. I guess the hang up is whether or not this is in fact cares money or any part of it thereof. All right, Joe, thank you very much.